Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today I wanted to go over my Spectrum Noir Aqua Markers. I did receive a few new sets in. So I wanted to swatch out a few and use some different water brushes and watercolor mediums and just see what works the best with these Aqua Markers. So, I have the three set of the Derwent water brushes, and I do like them. We have the um, Caran d'Ache water brush. We have, and I know a lot of people have these and like these. These are the Pentel in three different size tips. And then we have a couple of uh, different types. This is the Tombow uh, blender marker. I think mine might be a little on the dry side though, so we'll see how that works. And then this is the Blender Pro Aqua Medium. This is by, how is that pronounced? Molotow? Molotow? And this too, I think needs, this is refillable, and I think I need to get, um, I think I need to refill this one, but it should give us an idea anyhow. I also wanted to kind of review this case that I found. I really like this case. It has, uh, it's a 72 slot, it's by Meaden. I will be linking all of these products down below in the description. Um, but this case has magnetic openings so it snaps shut really easy and it's nice strong magnets. And then, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there are inserts for each particular marker. So it keeps them nice and straight. And then the other nice thing about this case is, if you see on the back, there is a little Velcro strip. And what you do with the cover is you go back and you attach that Velcro down to the other Velcro, and then it is it makes your case stand up. So you can very easily grab any marker that you want. So it keeps it up at an angle. So yes, I really love this case. It would work great for any marker set. They all fit in there. As you can see, the uh, Spectrum Noirs are a little bit bigger of a marker, so you know that your budget-friendly markers, your Copics, any of those would fit in this case. So, what I wanted to do, we'll put them off. Maybe I'll put them over here so I'm not reaching in front of you. This is the color chart that I just quickly swatched out the additional colors that I received in. I have to, you know, go back and do a proper swatch. Um, I wasn't thinking when I ordered this 72 slot case because I thought if I, you know, ever get these additional six sets, um, I thought it would be 72 colors in total because that's what the um, the color charts that you can find online, that's the most. Not realizing as I was uh, getting them out of my other case and, and putting them all in order in this particular case, I had gotten some off of HSN that typically aren't available in your regular sets. And so like there are some... Uh, well, they're not swatched out on here. There's like some Christmas ones and things like that that I had, had gotten. So if I do ever, if you hear boys screaming in the background, I have two of my grandsons early this morning and they're in the other room playing Xbox. So I told them I was going to be recording a video and to kind of try to keep it down, but you know how they get in their games. So... Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, if I do ever get more of these sets, they will not fit in this particular case because as you could see, I already have the 72 markers in there. So I'll deal with that when and if that ever happens. So what I thought we would do is we would just swatch out 
a few of these markers. I am going to be using this uh, Strathmore Bristol, Bristol Vellum paper. I will link this down below also, or else you can get it at your local craft stores. So I am just going to take a sheet of this out. I think I am. I think I am. There we go. Okay, and let's see how these markers blend out. Let's try, let's see, get my paper towel over here. And let's try the Derwent water brushes first. And what color? Well, let's go for my favorite purple. Now, another thing that I really like about these markers, because these can be used just as straight markers too, you know, to color with. And they have a beautiful brush tip like many of the Spectrum Noir markers have. But on the other end is a beautiful fine tip marker. And I don't know if you can see that very very fine tip so again these can be used just as straight coloring markers too but let's see because they are supposed to be aqua markers let's see and let me zoom you in just a tad let's see how these markers blend out with water isn't that a gorgeous color <laughs> so we're going to take the number one Derwent, which is the finest. Oh, and they blend out beautifully. Okay, so that was Petunia. Let's try an orange. And we'll try the biggest size Derwent which is a nice big brush. And they do blend out nice. All right, let's try a different color with a different brush. And we will try the Pentels. Again, I know a lot of people have those. Let's try a red, which is kind of an orangey red. We'll try out the big tip. Whoops. Nice. And let's try out a green. That one, that color was called grapefruit. Let's try out a pretty green. This one is called Bud Green. Oh, that's a pretty spring green, isn't it? All right, let's try out this medium tip. This one, as you can see, is a little stained. I've used it quite a bit in the past. Oh, isn't that a pretty green? I like that. And let's try, this one's called Navy. Oh, very dark blue. And we'll try out the fine tip of the Pantels, the smallest. Let's get some water out here. Oh, isn't that a gorgeous color? Oh, love that. Mmm. Great for a background for a night sky. So that was the navy. Put the bud green back. So let's try a pretty light purple. This is hydrangea. And we will try out the Karen Dosh. Pretty. Can tell I've used this a lot too. I really, I do like this water brush. It's a little bit different than the others and it works wonderful. Let's try a really pretty aqua blue. Oh, this is a sky blue. And let's try out the Molotow, Molto blend. Yeah, see, I think it's kind of dry, but I remember from the past that uh, 
this thing actually did blend well, so it is just dry. And I think the same is true for my Tombow. I love using the Tombow uh, blender marker when I use my ink tents. Works wonderfully. Yeah, this is way dry. Okay, so let's put these back. Let's just try a few different colors. And let's try Ruby Ruby Ring. Now there's a pretty red. We'll go back to the Derwent. We'll go to the fine tip. Number one. Let's see how we can blend maybe a couple of colors together. I'm going to take the bigger size Derwent. To see if they reactivate. Mm, not bad. It seems that they uh, blend out. A little bit better if you um, activate them with water right away. Let's try a pretty yellow. And let's try the Pentel again. This is the fine tip. Number, well, let's go with the bigger tip so we can swatch it out a little bit better. Come on. Oh, isn't that a pretty yellow? Love it. And let's get some of these back. <laughs> Ruby red and sunflower. What else? What other color should we do? Let's try this one. It's called Spice. Great skin tone. And we will try the Derwent again. I don't think I have this on tight. Nope, no wonder it was having a problem. Okay. And so that would be, yeah, a nice skin tone. Here is one called Peach. So let's see. I'll come down here. Oh, that would be even better of a skin tone, wouldn't it? Let's try our Pentel again. Very nice. Okay, let's just try a few more. Here's one called Night Sky. Very similar to the navy, and so let's try the Karen Dosh again. Oh, it is so pretty. Yes, very similar to the navy, isn't it? Can't see a whole lot of difference. Hmm, okay. Still gorgeous. Let's try a sea green. Looks kind of minty, minty green. And you can see there's a white rim ring around this side, and that indicates the fine tip. So we'll take the other tip. Very light green. That's pretty. Would be good to maybe blend with other greens. Okay, let's try the black. That would be a good test, wouldn't it? Let's see if it's a nice black black. Let's uh, let's do something with the fine tip. Um, I'll blend it out with the brush tip because it's just much easier. But look at the fine fine tip. You know that you can get with this end. I mean, it is just 
extremely fine. So if you, you know, really need to get in there, it's almost like a ballpoint pen or one of, the, uh, you know, a regular fine liner. That's how fine that other end is. So now let's try to, and it is a nice dark black. And we will blend the black out. And even the black blends out really nice. And the ink disappears really well. So overall, I would have to say these blend out really nice. What do you guys think? Let me zoom you back out. Um, that's just a few of the shades. Maybe I'll maybe I will try a, one a pretty brown. And let's try a darker brown too. We have one called sepia, which looks like a dark brown. Yeah. Oh, I like that brown. We'll try the Derwent again. I like it. Okay, one last one. Let's try a, the gray that is in this particular set. I know I have you guys zoomed out, so you might not be able to see this as well. This is a very warm gray. Nice. Okay, so there are a few swatches of some of the different colors in this particular set, or these sets, I should say. And this is all of the colors that I have, with the exception of I do have to add in um, some of the extras that I got out of some Christmas sets and, and things like that. Like one is called Berry Red. Um, and uh, yeah, so I, I do not have those in uh, with this uh, color chart. Probably should have done that ahead of time, huh? One's called Holly. That's a real deep green. Um, matter of fact, let's swatch that out. I'm not even sure what that one, that looks like. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Love that color. Oh, that is pretty. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I will link down below the sets that I can find. I do not know if these, I probably not. I don't think the um, Christmas sets are available any any longer. Um, but I will link down below some of the sets that I can find out on um, out on Amazon. I know there are some out there. And I will link these different types of water brushes down there too, as well as um, the other ones. All right, so that is just kind of a quick review of the Spectrum Noir Aqua Markers. This nice 72 slot Meaden uh, marker case. And just a few of the different water color, water brush mediums that you can use. Um, I'll link this uh, Strathmore Bristol paper down below also, but again, you can find it in your local craft shops too. Got some on my desk. Um, so, uh, I guess that is it for this review. I hope everybody kind of enjoyed seeing what these aqua markers, how they blended out. I believe this is the only watercolor medium that I know of that is in marker format. So I did have a few requests to actually see how these markers kind of did blend out with water. And that's why I wanted to do this video. As you can see, they do blend into each other. If you wanted that kind of look, um, maybe for your backgrounds, that would work real good. 
Um, so, yeah, if you enjoyed seeing these swatched out like this and kind of seeing how they worked with different water brushes, give me that thumbs up. I hope everybody is having a terrific day, and as always, happy coloring.